Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti e classroom. Today we are going to discuss one very good puzzle question taken from previous IBPSPO examination. This question is helpful for students, I am telling you, for almost all competitive exams in our country, where reasoning is part of that one. In some exams, this type of questions are appearing at pre-level and uh, in some exams at the mains level. On the whole, I am telling you students, puzzle chapter, puzzle and uh, seating arrangement are very, very important in the light of almost all competitive exams in our country. Okay, let's start the question. This question is based on floors, but in a different way they have given. Instead of giving one person on one floor, they have given indirectly two persons on each floor. Total 10 persons they have given. See this one, how the question they have framed, a good question to understand. Okay, how they have framed, total 10 persons they have given, NOPQ, RST, something they have given. And uh, in their flats, uh, in a building having five floors ah, now you see here total 10 persons and the number of floors only five okay again they have given further conditions five floors such that the lowermost floor is number one the immediate above one is number two and so on till topmost is number five and after that they have given each floor consists of uh, two flats simple one okay two flats uh, flat 1 and flat 2 and flat 2 is to the east of flat 1. Ah, now you see. What do you mean by flat 2 is east of flat 1? We may take in this way. Suppose this is flat 1. Okay. Flat 2 should be east of flat 1. This is flat 2. Got the clarity? East means we have to take on the right side. Flat 2 is to the east of flat 1. According to the given information, try to go for the rough work here. How to go for total uh, 10 persons, they have given 5 floors and each floor having 2 flats. Alright, how to depict this one? We may go like this, the topmost floor they have given number 5, followed by 4, 3, 2 and 1, that's it. Again, they have categorized flat 1 and flat 2. On each floor, there are 2 flats. So, I am taking in this way, this is flat 1 and this is flat 2, enough, flat 1 and flat 2, we can take a little here. I need to accommodate 10 persons now, 5 here and 5 here according to the given conditions, okay. I just take this space for the rough work. In puzzle, doing rough work is very, very important, while doing the rough work only, try to uh, like correlate one clue with the other. Okay, right. Now start with the first clue. How they have given T leaves uh, just on the above floor of R but in a different flat. Very, very important information. T leaves uh, just above R but in a different flat. That means I may take in this way. Suppose uh, this is R. Okay, T leaves uh, above R but in the different one. So above R one floor this one okay but uh, t is not on this one different one i must take uh, t here one more flat here now we got the idea this is one floor this is other floor on this floor one one flat here and it, the flat where t leaves this is r and this is the other floor other flat now students here you must get it out what is that one sir how can you take uh, conformly T is on the right side of R. Have they given any clue of that one? Here I have, take it, I have taken this one uh, granted as a T on the east side. T must be here. Yes or no? See students, your doubt is correct. Maybe, may not be. It may be one, one flat here. This is R and T one more. R, T here. One, one, one flat here and this R can be on the right side of T also. We don't know that one. Just for our understanding, I have kept in this way. Remember, this may come here or that may be in the same way. Have you got my point? Always you have to get that type of doubts. Okay. Now, what's the next information they have given? Next one, uh, V. V lives uh, two floors above P but uh, in a different flat. Same type of information. Suppose uh, this is P. Okay. V lives uh, two floors above. One, two. But on a different flat. 
that means it should be given to v. Got the idea? Now this is one flat and this is the other. Now here I have uh, we have represented three floors here. This is one floor, other floor, and this is other. So here v leaves. Uh, two floors above p remember students if you have any small doubt about this one v leaves uh, two floors above p it does not mean that uh, between v and p there are two floors remember this uh, when v leaves uh, two floors above p between these two only one will be there they have given v is above p but on the different uh, place different uh, flat okay right go for the next information here this is over this is over this is over p but in a different uh, flat o oh. next uh, u leaves uh, just above t's flat uh, but not on the even numbered floor how to take this one t already there so le u leaves uh, just above t accepted this is accepted one more flat will be here of course but not on the even number floor now we'll go for the negative information what is the negative information you cannot be on the even number so you cannot be here even number you cannot be here then where shall we place you you can be on fifth floor or third floor or first floor but by seeing that arrangement i can say you cannot be on the first floor also all right first floor means number one one numbered floor so this is restricted always negative information on the left side positive on the right side the basic mantra for puzzle test i hope uh, you understood this one but one thing is very very important students here it does not mean that v is to the east side of p may be may not be just for our understanding we have written this one this is also same now go for the next information o is uh, neither on the topmost nor on the lowermost floor but leaves on the east side flat very very important o is not on the top floor negative side i have written not on the bottom floor but where shall i write here for our understanding we will write here o must be on the even numbered floor very very important one okay now what's it i can't do beyond that one all right ah now go for the next information that's over o and u do not live in the same type of flats isn't it a good information for you already they have given o leaves on the east side flat now they are given that uh, difference between o and uh, u u does not live on the same side where uh, o leaves u does not live on the same side uh, where o leaves already o is living on the east that means u must be on the west west of this one that means u must be here now see students here already i have taken this one on what do you call this one just on guessing basis i have taken now they have given very clearly that r should be on the east based on this information based on the comparison of o and u here as simple as this one now i am changing this now i am changing this one this should go here this is the perfect arrangement that's it and now you got the idea now this is perfect what do you mean by this one u t one floor that must be here where you can be you can be on the fifth floor or on the third floor like this u t one floor or u t one floor you have to go in that now we got it right go for the next information here q is a Oh, i'm sorry ah q is q is just above the flat of v very good information again q is just above the flat here here q i'm just making a like here that means here also parallelly one how many floors i have covered 1 2 3 4 floors i have covered if i get one more floor here automatically i can bring this information onto the fair chart okay our next information what they have given q is just above the flat of v but students here very very important i don't know whether it is on the west west side or on the east side i don't know ah, next what they have given s leaves uh, above q in a different flat now you see s leaves uh, above q but in a different flat that means s should be 
here. Now this is parallel to S. Got it students? Now we got the success. What is that one? S, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here 5 plus 5 I got. But, but, but very importantly, where shall I keep this S, 1, 2, 3 and P? Whether it is on the flat 1 category or flat 2, I don't know. Because till now I have not got the clue confirming that Q, V and other 3 should be on the east side flat. I don't know that one. Wait for the information. Now we can combine these two. Try to combine these two. Now how to combine these two? Easy students, very easily I can say that uh, u, t and uh, 1 flat based on u. If you take u that is very easy. Clearly u can be either on the 5th floor or on the 3rd floor. If I want to keep u under this one uh, or on this column, so already 5th position is occupied by s. Only one place is left out that is this 5th, 4th and 3rd. Now I need to keep 5th, 4th, 3rd. This one, this one, this one. U here. U here parallel to V. Followed by below U that should be T. Followed by this is T. Accordingly, this one I need to go for. What is that? Here two blanks they have given and R. R, R should be like uh, parallel to that flat which is just below T. Just below T. This is T, T, T. Okay. Just below T. This is P and R should be parallel to this one. Now it should be given to R and above R 1, 2 this should be parallel to U. 1, 2 this is parallel to U. That's so okay. Very, very simple. Now clearly I can confirm that S should be on the west side and Q should be on the east side because U is already confirmed on the west that is left side. Now I am taking this one S, one floor here S, one floor U, T, P. This is S, one floor U, T and and parallelly, if you go for this one here, above, uh, just parallel to S you leave, this is Q, V, one floor and R. Now, how many are to be uh, confirmed here? This is one place, second place and the third one. Take the final information here, N leaves uh, above W. Above W means maybe immediately above or not. Uh, on the same types of flats or not, we don't know anything, but we have to try to uh, like we try to fix it up here. N leaves above W means one of the possibilities is if I keep N here like this, N here, I can keep W in this because they have not given immediately, immediately. N leaves above W. Above W means maybe immediate or not. If that is the case, what's the left out one? O. In that case, I need to keep O here. But, but, but students, one clue they have given one condition they have given very clearly about O and U. What, what, what they have given here? See, O and U do not live in the same types of a flat. Actually, that was really helped us to crack the puzzle. So, if I keep O here, O and U can be on the same, same flats. For that reason, this is ruled out. I cannot keep a N and a W here. So, in this case, it should be N and it should be W because there is no other way only these two places I can utilize N leaves above W and the remaining person O must be here. This is how you need to crack the questions. I hope this is clear for all of you. One thing students very very important thing while solving any types of any type of puzzle you need to understand the given data properly. Clue by clue you have to go for try to minimize the work. The concept, first of all, the basic concept is important. Positive on the right side, negative on the left, uh, left side. Once the basics are clear, after that you need to practice well. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much students and I will meet you in the next session.